I did get the 80% fat, 20% lean. Oh, that's fine. Those supposedly make the best burgers, according to my husband. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Ooh. Ugh. Okay, I can show you what I'm talking about now. All right. See how this is like brown? When I move it and show you like the underside, see how it's starting to get like. It's kind of hard to see because well, I can't put it down because it's too bad. But see how it's starting to get like caramelized? You can see it's a little bit darker than just brown. Yeah. It gets a little bit shifty. It, like you get it to the point where it looks like it's starting to burn, but it's but not burned yet. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this is almost done. Let me see if I can see see this like piece right here that's kind of. Oh yeah! Look at that. Yeah. That's a perfect example. Indeed, indeed. This is almost ready. That's what they mean by brown to be. I have no clue. When I first started cooking. Now I know. Or like when they tell you like to brown something before you put it in your crock pot. I thought uh -huh. it meant to cook it a little bit, but it means like sear it so it's like caramelized on the outside. Gives your dish good flavor. That's something that I did not know. Something I did know is that uh, the reason why you can cook steaks to be medium rare and you can't do that with like it's okay to have pink or red inside a steak yeah but it's not okay to have pink or red inside of a ground beef burger I know why but I'll let you tell okay the the reason is because in a ground beef burger the bacteria is able to penetrate into the burger patty because it's been ground up. Correct. And with a steak, the bacteria can't get past the surface. So all you have to do is sear it and you've killed all the bacteria. Dun, 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 dun. Woohoo! Correct, correct. I can't remember where I learned that. I can't remember where I learned that either. I'm gonna give credit to Alton Brown. I love him. He's awesome. He is awesome. I used to watch his show. I would come home from work and like, this was before I had like internet or cable or anything. This was like back in the day. Like I had just moved out of mom and dad's house. And like, I would come home and I'd lay on the couch and I'd watch Alton Brown on PBS doing his cooking show. I'd watch Alton Brown and then I'd watch America's Next Top Model on like one of the broadcast stations. I can't remember which one. Good memory, good memory. Okay, I think this is this is about right. Okay, you wanna see? See how it's kind of caramelized looking? Yeah. A lot of the pieces. Alright, let's see what comes with the recipe. I think this is when we add the sauce. Oh, drain excess fat. I did it. Stir in soy sauce mixture and green onions. Ah. Ah yes. We'll do all the green onions. Always wash your veggies. Yep, always a good idea. You never know how much pesticide could be on them. So tell me more about your game. So it is a turn-based card game based off the uh, hit game League of Legends made by Riot Games. It is my currently my favorite game. Uh, it's, it's a lot of like reacting, uh -huh. like you have to know what your opponent is doing and you have to know what you're trying to do and you have to be prepared for your opponent to do things to try and stop you. Is it like Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I always cut off the tops of the green onions because they gross me out, but that's probably not necessary. Personal preference. Yeah. Okay. Do not copy my knife cutting technique because my fingers are all up in the way and that's a really good way to cut your fingers. So yeah. <laughs> 
do as I say, not as I do. Exactly. I mean, I'm kind of doing it, but my thumbs still ache. I chopped the tip of my finger with a mandolin the other day, and that hurt like a mother Ow. But yeah, the, uh, like, like I say, it's really reactive because, like, you can, like, you can play out a threat. Yeah. And your opponent has to react to it. And you have to anticipate their reaction and react properly to their reaction and so on and so forth, back and forth. Until somebody pulls ahead in tempo or in value. Uh -huh. And the, like, the most common way of winning is by out-tempoing your opponent. Which means basically having more stuff on the board. Uh. Having more units on the board. Yeah. And just attacking the opponent's life total. Okay. Their nexus. Is it like a game like like Portal or like something where it's like lots of like movement, or is it like a platform game like uh, Mario? It's actually like neither of those. Uh -huh. It's a turn-based card game, so there's not a lot of what is called micro. What's well, micro? Micro is like detailed movements. Like, you, you were talking about, uh, like, portal. Yeah. Like, you have to aim, mm -hmm. you have to move around, you have to move back and forth or left or right. Yeah. You have to move your character a lot. Yeah. And, like, your position in the map is very important. You have to know where you're going, you have to know what portal you're going through, you have to know where the other portal end is. Yeah. You have to keep track of where the boxes are, you have to keep track of where the buttons are. In a... In Runeterra, you don't have to worry about that. You you just have you have to worry about what cards are possibly going to be played. Is it kind of like playing? So this is probably like a stupid comparison, but is it kind of like playing Uno, like on like the app? Yeah. Oh, okay. But you can like do you position your guys so they like shoot each other, or is like you just literally play the card and it does its thing? Yeah, you kind of position them. It's, uh, like, there's, like, whenever you play a card, it goes to what we call the back line. Yeah. And from the back line, it can go into combat. Mm -hmm. And you're either going to be attacking or blocking in combat. Okay. And when you attack, it... Sometimes it doesn't matter what order you attack in, but yeah. a lot of the time it does... And you have to attack in, like, a certain order. Because, like, like, some units have special effects on them. Yeah. And some units are champions, which have level-up conditions. Okay. Uh, for example, a really simple one is... Ground and garlic, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if this is going to... Rip. I didn't go I don't know what that means. Oh, I mean... <laughs> Sorry. Is it going to be okay? <laughs> it should be fine. Should I... We... we can, like, crush it or something. Like, with a knife. I could just use a little bit more garlic powder. And yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do yeah. that. I'll just use a little bit more garlic powder. So, LeBlanc is a good example of this. She has the level up condition of she's seen you deal 15 damage. Mm. So, instead of attacking with the LeBlanc first, you attack with your other units first so that they deal the 15 damage, and then you attack with your LeBlanc, and you, you have to declare your attacks all at once. Like, you can't attack with one unit and then attack with a different unit afterwards. You have to declare your attacks all at the same time. Okay. So you declare your other unit's attacks in in order from left to right, you do your other units, and then at the very far 
uh, far right, you have your LeBlanc. And that way you get that extra point of damage whenever the LeBlanc levels up. Because whenever a champion levels up, typically at least, they gain plus one attack and plus one power. Or plus one power and plus one health. Kind of falling. <laughs> that sounds interesting. I have a, a guide, a beginner's guide that I could show you. Oh, check it out. Yeah. Is it's... it... Is it like a puzzle? Like you have to like... Yeah. Yeah. Every game is a puzzle. And you like... You have to find out every game. Like you have the answers in your deck to the question your opponent is uh, facing you with. Yeah. Like your, your opponent is posing you with a question. And you have to answer the question correctly. And there's multiple questions... Every game. Okay. And it's very much a mind game. Like, you can do bluffs. You can, like, play mind games with your opponent and be, like, like saving up mana. Mana is the resource you use to cast cards. Yeah. You can be like, oh, I have four mana up, and I'm not going to spend four mana. Because there's a specific card that costs four mana that can deny ah, a card. Uh -huh. So it takes strategy. Yeah. Really cool. I'm letting Momo see what I'm cooking. Yay! I always do that when I'm cooking. She comes up and she asks. She's not asking to eat it. She just wants to look at it. Huh, Momo? 